What's up, people? I'm back. This is just going to be a video explaining basically what you need to work on a car and everything you just want to have just handy around because you never know when you're going to need it. So I'm just going to go over everything. And I'll just start here with just a few simple things. Like, first things first, we have a breaker bar here. This is one useful thing because a breaker bar, when you, you can use it to take off your lug nuts or just some really stubborn bolts if you're really having a bad day. I mean, this is just one of the handiest tools out there, just to point out. It's a half inch, obviously, because you need all the strength you can get. Next thing you'll want to have, if you're working on anything precise, is a torque wrench. And I'll have some content for this later, but this, you all you always want to have this as well. A torque wrench is something you always need to have if you're working on critical components, like rod, like rod clearance or something like that when you're torquing them down. Or if you're torquing the head down to exact spec. And one good thing to start out with, as you can see already, is all these variety of wrenches and then these sockets as well, as well as over here. We also got a few over here. Those are pretty useful because those are just the most common thing you can have around the place. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. I mean, you can have them in obviously half inch. You can have the three-quarter inch, and you can also have them an eighth inch. I mean, no, 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 no. It was, yeah, it was quarter inch. This is three-eighths, sorry. And this is half inch, okay. But other than that, also, you also need a ratchet, of course. You need one of these. Ratchet around. That's okay. That's that's good. It's not anything like it's broken. It's supposed to click. As well, as you see here, you have, I don't know if you can see this, but screwdrivers, you got the Phillips head, the flat head on here. Those are very useful when it, com when it comes into play. You got your vice grips here. You got your pliers, your different type of pliers, some dikes, so you can cut stuff. This adjustable wrench right here. Something you'll actually want to have just in case something's too big or small. Just, just I don't recommend using it all the time. It's just something for emergencies I use. The one most important thing, Allen keys. You'll always need these because Allen keys, whether they're in metric or SAE, they're gonna be very useful when you're working on a car because I know with some some forms of sway bar links they'll have allen keys in the heads and you'll have to use a wrench to, to help get it off also another useful thing this hammer comes with the kit I find it pretty useful okay moving on you also want to invest in some gloves these are disposable, but you can reuse them if you choose. And I use mine. They don't give me a problem. They're pretty handy when you think about it. And also, one very crucial thing if you're working on electrical stuff is a multimeter. And they got the different settings on this one. Came with my kit. These are the two prongs you put into any type of electrical circuit you want to test. But this is one very useful tool, one very, very useful tool for if you're getting stuck with, I don't know, a parasitic draw or something. Another thing you want to have is a solder iron and also, let me see, this soldering iron here, as well as extra tips for it. I, and I know people don't do this that often anymore, but it's a pretty useful thing. You also need solder, of course. Comes in some of the, some, some of these come in the tubes. You can see some of them come in rolls. 
Another thing you'll need is some wire strippers. These are pretty useful. I've been using them for a bit. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, right. And last thing I got here are some razor blades. I know it's pretty simple, but oh wait, no, no, no. yeah, these. You can use them for a variety of different things, especially scraping off RTV. I mean, that's pretty useful. Don't get me wrong; they're useful things. They get, they can get a lot of stuff done, especially with wiring if you really get all about it. But anyway, a few other things I want to add: this swivel socket, universal socket. These are pretty useful when you need to get into some tight corners and uh, just an extension can't reach it like let me see like this is just too much straight this is an extension by the way these sometimes can't reach through everything because you have to get it by an angle and so that's where these come into play they just pivot where you can actually reach one of the last few things you want to have besides all the other stuff mainly is a spark plug socket because you always want to have these and, and especially in different sizes, depending on what you're working on. If it's all just spark plugs for your lawnmower, they have different sizes. But I got a 3 8 one. No, no, a 5 8 one. And that works on most cars. It's just... That's just how, how it is, I guess. Oh, also, one last thing. These... This is a ratcheting wrench. Those are very useful, especially when you're getting sway bar links off. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Well, this is... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later on the channel.